Hi everyone, welcome to your daily pick a card. I hope everyone is doing well. If you need a moment, go ahead and hit pause on the video now. Otherwise, let's begin. Card number two, I'm sorry, card number one. It's been a long morning. Card number one is the Queen of Cups. So, you know, there's a few things here. I definitely feel some of you need to listen to your inner voice. Like, focus on yourself, your emotional well-being here, before trying to do for others. I feel like a lot of you, you know, pour yourselves into others and sometimes don't give that same nurture and love to yourself here. You know, this also could be representative of someone, a strong feminine energy, male or female, okay, that is surrounding you or that is coming in to kind of help you here, nurture you, and give you some type of guidance. Because the Queen of Cups is all about nurturing and loving and and self-care. It's also about being able to intuitively hear and be sensitive within yourself. Okay? Um, maybe you need to talk about your feelings or maybe you've been holding things, your emotions in this cup here and you need to express those to someone or about something does it, it could be love work whatever you know and this is saying that if that's something you've been contemplating then go ahead and do it because you need to give yourself the same love and attention that you give others so i hope this helped have a beautiful day keep standing in your power and i'll see you tomorrow bye card number two is the seven of swords so i know a lot of people look at this card and like oh lie cheat steal right yes that could be the case but you know and if it is this is a sign that you really need to look at things here right um i am getting a strong sense that you may need to be honest with yourself swords are all about truth honesty clarity it's like and maybe somebody needs to dish the whole hard truth to someone or you to someone. Take it as it resonates, okay? Regardless if it hurts, if it helps. But there's some underlying, I feel, hidden thing here that somebody just needs to speak the truth about something. Maybe it's been weighing heavily on you or... You know, whether you're waiting for someone to be honest with you or vice versa. I do get the sense that some of you do need to look at the tactics and how you do things. Not insinuating that you're trying to be sneaky, but it could be perceived as being sneaky when truly that's not your intent. Okay, so... And if somebody is, if you know someone's not being honest with you or, you know, maybe they cheated on you or lied to you, then it's time to, you know, maybe some of you are scared to or nervous to speak of that, but Spirit's saying it's time for you to address it, okay? I hope this helped. Have a beautiful day. Keep standing in your power and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Card number three, the sun, a major arcana. So, of course, this is the happiest card of the deck. And I love seeing this because I do feel for a lot of you, the light is being shined on something that maybe you were not clear on or you needed to see, okay? And Spirit's saying it's really time to look at these things but look at things in a positive manner. Whether you found something out and, you know, maybe good thing you found out sooner than later or something of that, okay? Maybe there's some type of obstacles you're going through and Spirit's saying it is you need to have a positive at attitude here because Spirit is trying to help you move things forward for the better here. Okay, maybe things are, the light's being shined on things so you can see, so you can make the decision to, to be in a better place, in a more, I'm hearing like positive, vibrant, energetic place, because Spirit's saying it's time. Um, 
you know, a lot of, it's like it's time for you to be happy. I feel like there's been so much darkness around so many people from jobs to love to just life in general, taking care of kids or other responsibilities or a parent or a family member. And Spirit saying like, Spirit is bringing in this light of hope for you. Okay. And, and, and shining things on. And even though it may hurt, it's, it's going to bring you into a better place because there's more coming for you. It's time to be a free spirit too. It's time to act like a, you know, to be like a child and release yourself from any burdens because it's time to bring joy, love, and peace into your life. Okay? I hope this helped. Have a beautiful day. Keep standing in your power, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.